Hello there everybody, Bulbo10,000 here, bringing you episode 3 of Minecraft and Farm Survival, and today we're going to get our items back. I lost my items to the great beyond- I have too much dirt in my inventory, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. I lost a, a majority of my items to the great beyond- wait. Aren't these the items I just lost? What? Did they glitch back into my inventory? Am I- am I- am I going mad? I think I might be going mad. I- I think these are the items I just lost. I think when that zombie killed me, it was a glitch. Because if you guys remember in the last episode, we went down to that spider spawner, and then a zombie basically kind of came down and wrecked our day. So let's deal with you. I think this is actually a pretty nice- Spawner if we uh If we do that then the spiders can't actually get to us So we could just spawn the spiders in there and We could use it as a farm. I kind of want to use that as a farm Everyone's like Billy are you are you okay? I mean you of all people wanting to use a spider spawner For a farm. I mean that's just not Billy. That's not kosher. I didn't bring any building blocks Oh, and there's a lot of enemies down there as well. I don't see any of my items, which means I'm pretty sure... Oh, I need to get some stone though, so... I am gonna do a bit of digging. We're gonna... Anything around here? No, nothing that interesting. We're gonna use this episode to get some stone, because that is just so overdue it hurts. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a nice, slow, leisurely approach. I'm gonna... Also, see if I can maybe get a staircase that leads back up. That would be nice. Or if we can't get back up, then at least uh, back across to uh, a part of the ant farm that we're, we're more used to kind of hanging out in. I, oh, I know there's a cave spider spawner just down there behind the stones there, because I remember that specifically. I know where- I think I remember where a majority of the cave spider spawners are, and I don't want to run into any of them. STONE! Oh my god, finally. Okay. And hopefully, uh, Billy, remember to light this area up in post so that it doesn't look, like, boring and dark and dreary. Remember to do that, please. Oh, stone. You beautiful, beautiful beast. I'm not gonna dig anywhere onto the side, because I feel like if I do that, then, yeah, I risk the run of, uh, cave spiders. And I think I'm on normal, right? Yeah. So the cave spiders will poison me. I usually play these maps on easy because I'm a fucking wimp uh, and I usually can't deal with cave spiders. So this is entertaining. Oh, I can hear them all. I can hear all of them. Oh, I don't like it. Thing is, I don't... Nope. Nope. Thing is, I don't really want to deal with cave spiders until I have uh, torches. Oh, there's iron there, which is nice. Uh, mainly because torches, I feel, for me, are just, like, super duper vital to kind of just good exploration. I mean, uh, you can use them to torch up the spawners so that they don't spawn anything, which is kind of like... Oh, that made me jump. That actually made me jump, That, but it was just the, the normal area. Uh, you know, spawners are just... Uh, you need torches for them, and I don't like... Oh, I can hear them all. They're all literally... They're just right behind me in that wall there. I can hear them all, and it makes me really uncomfortable. Oh. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up with the 19, with the 19 that I've got. Let's just get out. Let's just get out for now. Uh, we do have to go back up past the, uh, the spider spawners, but I don't think that's gonna be much of an issue. Uh, cause as I said, I blocked the, the little bit of the spider spawner off, so it shouldn't have spawned anything in front of me, but at the same time, I'm gonna, gonna hold my sword button down just in case. Oh, it's also really dark. I can barely see anything because I've got the- I've got my blind open today So I can see the light of the outside- oh, hello. Hi. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Ow. Don't hit me like that. It's rude. Oh, I've got, um- Oh, I'm gonna actually- I'm gonna kill you until I get enough for a- for a bed. So I wanna make a bed. I want, I want string for a bed. I think I've got, like, three string in my chest back at home. So, if I kill- Oh, look at all those levels as well. 15 levels. Oh my god. So if I kill enough of these guys, I can basically um, make myself a bed, which is exciting. 
I can't, I can't die the bed, which is also a little bit tragic, you know. Uh, dying beds is just like, you know, a great pastime in, in modern Minecraft. One of the few changes I really like about modern Minecraft. Come on. Oh, this is such a good sauna. This just works so well. If I ever need experience, this is, this is the way to go. And it's, and it's like tr me, me getting over my fear of spiders as well. Although to be fair, the big Minecraft spiders are adorable. It's the cave spiders I can't stand. I can't do cave spiders. They're, they're a lot smaller and I guess the poison and just the kind of like creepier look of them, I think just gets me. All right, let's back the fuck back. I don't think these spiders can actually spawn outside of that little hole as well. Like I don't think they can spawn up where I am. I don't think that's like a, a thing that can happen. Okay, I think I need like one more bit of string, because as I said, I think I've got two back upstairs. Uh, so let's just get one more one more kill. And then I'll probably light this spawner up as well when I get some torches, because I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to make myself some charcoal now. Oh, but I also need string for a bow. Okay, so maybe I need to, maybe, maybe I should keep farming for a couple more minutes. Also nice that there's only one spawning at a time. It means it's very easy to kind of deal with. So yeah, if you're ever playing Ant Farm Survival, this is the perfect farm for you. It's easy to access because you just have to dig underneath the water, which is nice. I like also having a nice water source block. I do want to I do want to find the other source block in this game though, uh, because I want to make an infinite water source because that will make traveling through caves infinitely easier. But more so than anything, I just want torches because oh, the screen is so dark. Come on, Spooder. Come on. I, I need your string. I need your string. I need like three more string. Okay, there are definitely fucking cave spiders up there. I know there are. I know there are. I need to stop saying there are because I keep saying, oh yeah, I know there are cave spiders up there, but I'm not gonna go near them. Not yet. Because there's gonna be like 15 of them in the goddamn room now. I'm gonna have to wait until they despawn. Or what's happening is there are some big spiders that are spawning in the room where you would find these cave spiders. Also, we've got four strings so we can go back up now. Yay. Oh no. Come on. Oh, there better not be zombies up here. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh no. Are there zombies up here in my house? Oh, I heard I heard falling. Oh, there's a there's a skelly. There's a skelly butt. There's a skelly butt. Skelly butt, skelly butt. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to take you out. We can get some bone meal from you as well if I kill you, so worth it. There we go. And we got- Oh, we got a bow! We didn't even need craft one. We just got one. Yes. Although it does say I have to make a bow in the objective. So I guess we have to do that. Uh, okay. Oh, we had two string up here. Damn it. That means we're one off. Oh, no. No. Okay. I'm making a bed, though. I need a bed. I need- I need- I need sleep. I need- I need emotional sleep. Also, I need to make a furnace. Okay. And we've got enough wood up here that I don't think we need to worry about our charcoal. I think we'll be okay with that. So yeah, we're, we're making our way downtown. We're doing it now. I'm going to put my bed over here, just because I know this bit's like the safest bit of the ant farm, arguably. Oh, it's a blue bed. Oh, I like that it defaults to being a blue bed. Also, now I can sleep the night away, which is also really nice, because y'all know how much I don't like the nighttime. I much prefer daytime because you can actually, you know, see what's going on. Uh, okay. So we need one more piece of string. I also need to make some charcoal. I also need to like kill myself to get some hunger back because I don't want to risk uh, dying. So let's put the furnace there. Uh, so charcoal, I believe, is you smelt... Oh, I think it's like, yeah, you smelt these wood blocks with wood. I think that I think that should be enough. Oh, oh, we got charcoal. We have charcoal, everybody. We have charcoal. Oh wow, yeah. You know, what? I'm just gonna put this in there and I'm just gonna let it cook. Cause I need that charcoal, and I'm happy to use any wood that I get. Cause I have saplings. I can create more tools. I have like trees all the way across this damn ant farm. This is this is okay. Oh, I can finally make torches. And when I make them, they're going to be amazing. Yes. Alright, yeah, we're probably gonna have like one piece of wood left at the end of this, possibly two. Uh, from the furnace at the bottom there, which is nice. There we go. Also, the doggo's in the street outside of barking. I forgot to close my bedroom door before I started recording, because I could have got rid of that background noise. Come on. Smelt it before it gets to one. Smelt it before it gets to one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
All right. It's time to make them torches. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at it. Look at it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is torches in my ant farm. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy we finally have torches, but I need to kill myself. I need I need to regen all my health. Okay. And then I need to make myself an actual bow. Myself a bow. I can't use I can't use the bow that the skeleton gave me. It was good luck, but that's not what the challenge asked for. Why are you down there? Why do you do this to me? Ooh, that's a, a, a water source. Okay. If I can get a bucket, then I can make an infinite water source very quickly then. Nice. Uh, and I remember seeing iron down where the, the cave spider spawners were, which was nice. Uh, so, we need to make a bow. Uh, is there anything else we can do? We need to find and harvest sugarcane, but I don't think we can do that yet. Make a bookshelf, but I think we're gonna need cows for that. And I'm gonna need to, I, I assume, breed said cows. Uh, okay, so I guess make a bow is really the main thing on our list. Also, I'm gonna knock off the uh, the spider spawner that we have the farm for because I can literally just put some torches down and, and suddenly, boom, we have a, uh, a spider farm. So that one I would say is disabled, so to speak. It's still usable, but you know, it, we, we are using it for our own benefit now. Also, let's get some stone tools. Ah, oh, yeah. And I'm also going to make myself a little stone axe as well. There we go, because I want to chop down some trees. Because we need to- I, I, I'm happy with the amount of charcoal we've got for now, but I do want to cut down these trees and just get the saplings quickly uh, before we do anything else, just to kind of keep things going. All right, we are about almost 12 minutes in, and we are doing it fabulously so far. All right, let's just cut these down. It's worth noting that if you're gonna go do a spider dungeon, you wanna come from the top, not the bottom. Because if you come from the bottom, uh, then the spiders can get through the one block gap if they're cave spiders. If you if you go through the top, then chances are they have to climb up to reach you, and some cave spiders just simply aren't capable of climbing, depending on how uh, how the dungeon looks. Okay, I can see this sapling here is probably not gonna grow if this is here, so let's let's move this a little bit. Give it a bit more space, you know? I'm a professional gardener. That's what I do. Uh, let's pop the sapling in there. I want to stay here just until all of the, the leaves despawn as well. So maybe I should actually try taking on that, uh... Oh, there's an apple! There's an apple! That means we could probably make a golden apple if we, uh, if we go to the nether. Which I think is actually one of the nether achievements, so this is really good for us. Like, that's, that's, that's brilliant. I'm well happy about that. We should also try going down there, I think. I think that might be a safe location to kind of, uh, take a trip down. Uh, there is some wood on those leaves there. I'm just collecting everything I need. We've got, we've got so many saplings. I don't think we have to worry about ever running out of wood anymore. I was scared that my first sap, uh, my first tree wouldn't actually drop a sapling, and then my first grown tree wouldn't also drop a sapling, so I'm glad that, that we are getting, uh, the sapling drops. It just makes things a lot easier. Oh! It wasn't a, it wasn't a big drop. Don't worry. It wasn't a big drop. It was, it was a small drop. You know what? I think I'm gonna actually try and kill this cave spider spawner that's here because it is annoying me. I will not lie. It is kind of pissing me off. Like, you can hear them as you walk past and it's like, there's no reason for cave spider spawners to exist. They're just there to annoy you. They're just there to annoy you and for arachnophobic players, they're there to torture you. I have no reason to keep it there. So if I get the chance, I'm coming for that spawner, because I can hear them all fucking falling down there. I have apologies for the language, but oh, I don't like them. Look at all these saplings! Oh, that's so nice! Yeah, and we got some- we got two app- Ooh, more saplings! Damn game, you've been real- you've been real generous! Okay, this one's- this one's a ghost sapling, apparently. There we go. I've been getting out a lot in 1.10, a 1.7.10, like, so just some kind of, like, ghost things happening. Like, when I died to the zombie, but then suddenly my items are in my inventory when I respawned, you know. Weird stuff like that. Alright, I'm gonna put my axe away, because obviously I don't want to really use that when dealing with spiders. I'm gonna take, like, 19 dirt blocks, and then we are gonna just fucking deal with this spider spawner that is over here. Because we know it's here. Hello? Hello? Because you know what? I feel like we just need to deal with it. We just need to get rid of it. I gotta face my fears. 
and deal with the spooders. Oh, oh, oh. That's, that's, is, is that, is that actually a cave or is that just where I dug in at one point? I can't tell. Uh. Oh no, that's just where I dug in at one point, for fuck's sake. Billy, almost scared yourself. God damn, almost played yourself, boy. I can hear them. Like, you can hear the spiders. Where are they? Are they further down? Like, listen to them. You can just hear them all. And I'm obviously, I'm breaking uh, blocks with my, uh, with my, uh, my hand, because obviously that's just like, you know, the easy way to do it. Uh, don't have to waste any durability. Oh, that's a drop. The only problem I'm going to have with this is if I do break into this spawner, then I'm going to have to deal with all of the spiders, like instantly and I don't know if I'm ready to deal with the spiders yet I don't know if I am am I emotionally prepared is this, is this an emotionally viable mission like I'm looking I'm looking I want to find these spiders well you know what let's leave that for now let's go in um quickly very quickly as well uh deal with the I need one more string mission. Is that just you? Is, is Are you guys the ones making the noise? Oh no, I can hear other spiders. I just, I just don't know where they are. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. Please don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. Okay, we're alive. Yeah, they're right in there. Perhaps maybe I'm digging in the wrong bit. Maybe it's in this bit to the left here, possibly. Okay, but now we can complete one of our missions. We can make a bow. That means we can finally take off one of the main objectives. Yes, okay. All right, let me get my sticks. Six sticks. Now, if I believe it's like this. Bam, bam, bam. And we have made a bow. That is our first achievement undone and that is on episode three i'm gonna mark that down as well because i've got i've got a little little notepad with all my stuff here that i'm just kind of noting things down all right that is our first major achievement of the ant farm complete Woo! all right and that is where we're going to be ending this episode off guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy in the next episode i'm going to try and find that cave spider spawner that is over there and i'm going to see if maybe we can start getting some iron tools maybe make a bucket maybe try and go for that infinite water source and just explore a bit more so thank you for watching i'll talk to you guys next time thank you so much for watching and goodbye